Welcome to our exploration of one of history's most pivotal moments, the fall of Constantinople in 1453. But before we delve into the dramatic events of the siege, let's first understand the significance of Constantinople itself. Situated at the crossroads of Europe and Asia, Constantinople was the capital of the Byzantine Empire, the eastern continuation of the Roman Empire. Its strategic location made it a hub of trade, culture, and power for over a thousand years. With its formidable defenses, including the renowned Theodosian Walls, Constantinople seemed impregnable to many. However, by the 15th century, the Byzantine Empire had weakened due to internal strife, external pressures, and the rise of the Ottoman Turks. Meanwhile, the Ottoman Empire, under the leadership of Mehmed II, also known as Mehmed the Conqueror, was expanding rapidly. Mehmed coveted Constantinople for its strategic location and symbolic significance as the seat of the Eastern Roman Empire. Thus, the stage was set for a climactic confrontation that would shape the course of history. Join us as we journey back in time to witness the siege of Constantinople, a monumental event that marked the end of an era and the dawn of a new age. To understand the significance of the fall of Constantinople, it's essential to grasp the legacy of the Byzantine Empire. Emerging from the eastern half of the Roman Empire after its division in 395 AD, the Byzantine Empire thrived for over a millennium as a beacon of civilization, art, and Christian faith. Under illustrious rulers like Justinian Thirst, the Byzantine Empire experienced periods of unparalleled splendor, marked by ambitious architectural projects such as the Hagia Sophia and legal codifications like the Corpus Juris Civilis. At the heart of this empire stood Constantinople, strategically positioned on the Bosporus Strait, linking the Black Sea to the Mediterranean. This prime location made Constantinople a bustling center of trade, where goods, ideas, and cultures from east and west converged. Moreover, Constantinople was renowned for its impregnable defenses, notably the formidable Theodosian Walls. These massive fortifications protected the city from countless sieges over the centuries, earning it the title, the City of Walls. Despite facing numerous challenges, including invasions by barbarian tribes and power struggles within the empire, the Byzantine Empire persevered, leaving an indelible mark on history through its art, literature, and enduring legacy. Now that we've explored the rich history and cultural significance of the Byzantine Empire, Let's delve deeper into the events that led to the fateful siege of Constantinople in 1453. As the Byzantine Empire flourished in the east, another power was rising in the west, the Ottoman Empire. Under the leadership of ambitious rulers like Mehmed II, commonly known as Mehmed the Conqueror, the Ottomans expanded their territory with remarkable speed and efficiency. Mehmed II ascended to the Ottoman throne in 1451, determined to fulfill his predecessor's dreams of capturing Constantinople. He saw the city as the key to solidifying Ottoman dominance over the eastern Mediterranean and establishing himself as a conqueror of unparalleled stature. Constantinople held immense strategic and symbolic importance for the Ottomans. Control of the city would not only secure lucrative trade routes, but also signify the final triumph of Islam over Christianity, a goal that had eluded previous Muslim rulers for centuries. To achieve his ambitions, Mehmed meticulously prepared for the siege of Constantinople. He assembled a formidable army, including elite Janissary troops and innovative artillery, determined to overcome Constantinople's legendary defenses. Driven by a potent combination of religious zeal, imperial ambition, and strategic foresight, Mehmed II set his sights on Constantinople, ready to unleash one of history's most epic sieges. Now that we've explored Mehmed II's rise to power and the Ottoman Empire's ambitions, let's witness the unfolding drama of the siege of Constantinople and the clash of civilizations that would shape the course of history. As the threat of Ottoman invasion loomed, both the Byzantines and Ottomans made extensive preparations for the impending siege of Constantinople. Let's delve into the strategies and defenses employed by each side. The Byzantines, aware of the imminent danger, undertook urgent measures to bolster their city's defenses. They repaired and reinforced the massive Theodosian walls, which had protected Constantinople for centuries, and stockpiled provisions to withstand a prolonged siege. 
In addition to its formidable land defenses, Constantinople relied heavily on its navy to guard the city's seaward approaches. The Byzantine navy, composed of war galleys and smaller vessels, patrolled the waters of the Bosporus, preventing the Ottomans from launching a naval assault. Meanwhile, the Ottomans spared no effort in their preparations for the siege. Mehmed II amassed a vast army, supplemented by skilled engineers and artillery experts. He ordered the construction of massive siege cannons, including the legendary Basilica, capable of battering down Constantinople's mighty walls. Ottoman scouts carefully surveyed Constantinople's defenses, seeking vulnerabilities and potential entry points. Mehmed's meticulous planning and thorough reconnaissance ensured that his forces were well prepared for the daunting task ahead. As tensions mounted and both sides made their final preparations, the stage was set for one of the most epic and decisive sieges in history. Join us as we witness the clash of civilizations at the gates of Constantinople. With preparations complete, the siege of Constantinople commenced, marking the beginning of a pivotal chapter in history. Let's delve into the dramatic events that unfolded as the Ottomans launched their assault on the city's formidable defenses. Mehmed II unleashed his formidable arsenal of siege weapons, including massive cannons and trebuchets, pounding Constantinople's walls with relentless fury. The thunderous roar of artillery fire echoed across the city as the Ottomans launched wave after wave of attacks. Despite facing overwhelming odds, the Byzantines, led by Emperor Constantine II, mounted a fierce resistance, repelling Ottoman assaults with determination and valor. They deployed ingenious defense tactics, such as Greek fire, a fearsome incendiary weapon that struck terror into the hearts of their enemies. The siege witnessed a series of intense battles both on land and sea, as Ottoman forces sought to breach Constantinople's defenses from every angle. Byzantine naval forces clashed with the Ottoman fleet in epic naval engagements, while soldiers on both sides fought fiercely for control of strategic positions. As weeks turned into months, the siege of Constantinople became a grueling test of endurance and willpower for both the besiegers and the besieged. Each side employed cunning tactics and strategies in a relentless struggle for supremacy. As the siege dragged on, the fate of Constantinople hung in the balance. Join us as we witness the unfolding drama of one of history's most epic battles for survival. As the siege of Constantinople reached its climax, the city stood on the brink of its most decisive moment. The final assault by the Ottoman forces would determine the fate of Constantinople and reshape the course of history. In a desperate bid to breach Constantinople's formidable walls, Mehmed II ordered a massive frontal assault on the city. Ottoman troops surged forward with unbridled determination, braving a hail of arrows, Greek fire, and other deadly defenses. The final assault witnessed a series of pivotal moments that would sway the balance of power in favor of one side or the other. From daring feats of heroism to tragic sacrifices, each moment would leave an indelible mark on the outcome of the siege. One such moment came when Ottoman forces breached a section of Constantinople's walls, sparking fierce hand-to-hand -hand combat as Byzantine defenders fought tooth and nail to repel the invaders. In another pivotal encounter, the Byzantine navy clashed with the Ottoman fleet in a desperate bid to break the siege from the sea. As the final assault raged on, the fate of Constantinople hung in the balance. With each passing hour, the city's defenders faced increasingly overwhelming odds, while the Ottomans pressed forward with unwavering resolve. As the dust settled and the echoes of battle faded, Constantinople stood battered but unbroken, a testament to the resilience of its people. But the siege was far from over, and the city's fate would soon be sealed in a moment of historic significance. In the waning hours of the siege, Constantinople stood on the precipice of its darkest hour. Despite valiant efforts to defend the city, the relentless onslaught of the Ottoman forces proved insurmountable. Let us bear witness to the somber events that marked the fall of Constantinople. As Ottoman troops breached the last bastions of resistance, the once mighty walls of Constantinople were breached and the city fell into chaos. Mehmed II's victorious army poured into the streets, unleashing a wave of destruction and conquest that reverberated throughout the city. In the aftermath of the siege, 
Constantinople lay in ruins, its streets littered with the fallen and its once proud monuments defiled. The Hagia Sophia, once a symbol of Byzantine grandeur, was transformed into a mosque, signaling the end of an era and the dawn of a new age. The fall of Constantinople sent shockwaves across Europe and the Byzantine Empire, heralding the end of Byzantine rule and the rise of the Ottoman Empire as a dominant power in the region. The loss of Constantinople dealt a crippling blow to Christian Europe, fueling fears of further Ottoman expansion and sparking calls for a new crusade. With Constantinople now firmly under Ottoman control, the geopolitical landscape of Europe and the Middle East underwent a profound transformation. The Ottoman Empire emerged as a formidable force, while the Byzantine Empire, once a beacon of civilization, faded into obscurity. The fall of Constantinople marked the end of an era and the beginning of a new chapter in history. Its impact reverberated far beyond the walls of the city, shaping the course of events for centuries to come. As we reflect on this momentous event, let us remember the courage and sacrifice of those who fought to defend Constantinople and the enduring legacy of a city that once stood as a bridge between East and West. The fall of Constantinople in 1453 was not merely a military conquest, it was a seismic event that reverberated across continents and reshaped the course of history. Let us now explore the enduring legacy and far-reaching implications of this pivotal moment. For the Byzantine Empire, the fall of Constantinople marked the end of a millennium-old legacy. Once a beacon of civilization and Christian faith, Byzantium now lay in ruins, its territories absorbed into the burgeoning Ottoman Empire. The loss of Constantinople dealt a devastating blow to Byzantine culture and identity, leaving a void that would never be filled. For the Ottoman Empire, the capture of Constantinople was a crowning achievement, solidifying its status as a dominant power in the region. With control over the strategic gateway between East and West, the Ottomans expanded their influence across Europe, Asia, and Africa, shaping the geopolitical landscape for centuries to come. The fall of Constantinople also had profound implications for the wider geopolitical landscape. With the Byzantine Empire vanquished, Christian Europe faced a formidable adversary in the Ottoman Empire, sparking fears of further incursions and prompting calls for unity against the common threat. Yet amidst the devastation and despair, the fall of Constantinople also sparked a renewed interest in classical learning and culture. Greek scholars fleeing the city brought with them invaluable manuscripts and knowledge, igniting the flames of the Renaissance and ushering in a new era of enlightenment. As we reflect on the legacy of Constantinople's fall, we are reminded of the enduring resilience of humanity in the face of adversity. Though the city itself may have fallen, its spirit lives on in the hearts and minds of all who cherish freedom, resilience, and the pursuit of knowledge. And so we honor the memory of Constantinople, a city that stood as a testament to the triumph of the human spirit against all odds. As we conclude our journey through the fall of Constantinople, let us reflect on the key points we have explored and the enduring significance of this momentous event in history. We began by delving into the significance of Constantinople as the capital of the Byzantine Empire, a vibrant hub of culture, commerce, and faith. We traced the rise of the Ottoman Empire under Mehmed II, whose ambition to capture Constantinople would shape the course of history. We then witnessed the preparations for the siege, the relentless assaults on Constantinople's defenses, and the final moments of the city's fall to the Ottoman Turks. We explored the immediate aftermath and the far-reaching implications for the Byzantine Empire, the Ottoman Empire, and the wider geopolitical landscape of Europe and the Middle East. The fall of Constantinople is a story of triumph and tragedy, of courage and sacrifice. It is a chapter in history that continues to captivate and inspire us to this day. I encourage you, dear viewers, to further explore the rich history and significance of Constantinople's fall, to delve deeper into the lives of those who lived through this tumultuous period, and to draw lessons from the past that resonate with our present and shape our future. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history. Until we meet again, may the lessons of Constantinople's fall guide us on our quest for understanding and enlightenment.